welcome back to BeHookedCrochet.com. I'm your host, Brittany, and welcome back to our third video for the Big Tartan Crochet Scarf Challenge. Now, this is a free pattern that's available at Yarnspirations.com, and I've provided the link to that pattern, as well as the other two videos in this challenge, in the description below. So video number three, we're going to cover the finishing touches. You're going to need to get your color C available, your crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. So I have crocheted the entire length of my scarf here and the pattern indicates that we should end on a tenth row. So this is my the top part of my scarf so I've been crocheting in this direction here. And so when I finished I made sure that I stopped on a tenth row which is the end of this little color pattern section. And we have to do that because this is the pattern that we see on the opposite side of the scarf so this is going to make things symmetrical. And now there's just a couple of little finishing touches that we need to do in order to finish our scarves. We're going to place a vertical stripe along this little section and this section over here. And we're also going to add in some fringe. So let's first talk about how to do these vertical stripes. And we want to arrange ourselves so that we have the front side of our work facing up. So I have been marking the, the right side with my stitch marker there. So that is facing up. And now I'm going to demonstrate how to do the slip stitch crochet method to make the vertical stripes on this side of the scarf as well as over at this color repeat of the scarf. So we'll just demonstrate with one of these stripes. Now you'll want to take your color C and create a slip knot. I'm just going to remove this stitch marker because we no longer need it. And we're going to join this in the middle of this little color section right here. So we want to do so in the chain space and we want to do it even. So we've got our single crochet here and here and then here and here. And we have that chain space there in the opening that's right in the middle. So just place your hook into that little space and then put the slip knot, the loop on your hook, and then pull that through. The surface crochet method is quite different than any other regular form of crocheting. We have to hold things differently, we have to watch our tension a little bit more closely, and so just give yourself a few stitches to practice this. It'll get easier as you go. So from here I'm holding on to my working yarn, which is coming out the back here. And with my hook just up on the top, I'm going to gently just pull up and insert my hook. Now you want to keep this loop on your slip knot a little bit loose. So mine's a little tight. I'm just going to loosen it up. And then stretch your hook and insert it into that next gap space. So we've jumped over that single crochet here and I'm just going to insert my hook into the chain space. Now looking at it from this direction, I'm just going to grab the working yarn with my hook and then I want to pull it through the loop that was on my hook. So that kind of happens in one motion there. And I mentioned before that tension is really going to either be your best friend or your worst nightmare on this part. If we make these stitches too tight, then it's going to pucker our work and so it'll kind of, you know, scrunch up the design. So we want to keep it as loose as possible, but not so loose that it's kind of, you know, flowing and uh, a little bit out of proportion when we look at it that way. So just pull up that loop so that it We'll stretch comfortably over this next single crochet here and then just go into that space. Now on the back side, just catch it with your hook. And then pull it through the loop on our hook. Now I'm actually twisting my crochet hook a little bit in order to pull it through the loop that was on my hook and not having it fall off. So we're kind of focusing on that. So we're skipping 
that next single crochet and go into the loop. And so from here I'm I've got a hold of it with my hook, but I'm also sort of twisting it as I pull up and see how that just sort of naturally works out. Then we'll skip this next single crochet and then go into that next gap. Loop it around there and give it a twist. And then gently pull it through. And as you're working, you want to pause a little bit just to make sure that your tension is good, that it's not making your work a little crooked or it's not doing anything crazy. And then just keep going. So we'll, we're going to do this the entire length of the scarf. We're going to keep it in this section. So we want to keep it in the center of this little stripe right here. And as we change colors vertically as we progress through the, through the pattern, and we're not going to change anything. We're just going to keep it in the same location. And we'll watch the tension as we go. Now if you find it easier to pull the loop through the work first, so this is the working yarn right here, and then just pull it through the loop on your hook. You can do that too. It might actually be a little bit easier for you. So we'll try that. Just slide it through, grab the working yarn on the back there, and then pull it up. And again, make sure your tension is loose, and then pull it through. So I do think that does work out quite a bit easier. You can do whatever is comfortable. If you've surface crocheted before, just whatever works for you. The main goal here is that we're keeping our stripe in the center of this part of the pattern. And again, that we're watching our tension to make sure that it's not changing our overall design. So go ahead and finish your surface crochet all the way up the side of your work. And then we'll talk about how we're going to kind of conceal and weave in our ends on the other side. So once you've made it all the way to the other end of your scarf, and again I want to mention too that when I ended my, my scarf, I ended on a row 10. Now that was indicated in your written pattern, so you of course just want to make sure that you're following along with the pattern and that you stopped on a 10th row. And that way our pattern up here will match the pattern down on the other side of the scarf. So I've reached that end. I've made my second to last stitch there, so I have it in the the chain one space that's just below the edge of the scarf. And so we'll just finish things off by just doing one more stitch and then trim yourself a tail and then just pull that through. Now all we need to do is just turn it over and then just weave this in along the back side. And you just want to make sure that you're keeping it within that line. Since this is a contrasting color, we just want to make sure that we're weaving it in so that we're concealing it on the other side. And then once you work that, then we're all done. Now what we'll need for you to do is just repeat this step over on the other side. So shifting your scarf over, we, we have that same color pattern where we're using this gray and the white alternating. We're going to make a surface crochet stripe down the entire length of our scarf over on that side as well. So once you have your vertical stripes completed on both sides of your scarf, the last thing for us to do is to add on the fringe to both sides, to this side here which was my starting edge and then over to the other side which was our finishing edge. And what we need to do in order to finish this is we need to make several cuts of yarn that are 20 inches long and each one of the fringes is going to be four strands. So we need to, to cut four strands of each of the colors for A, B, and C. So 
we're going to match the pattern here. So we're going to have this little section here is going to be the gold color fringe. And then we're going to have a section here, which is the white, and then back to gold, and then the charcoal, and so on. So I recommend that you cut these as you go. There's really no need to, to estimate how many um, cuts you're going to need. It's just easier to work as you go. So I'm just going to demonstrate how we do that once here. I've made my four cuts of the gold yarn. So I have four strands that are 20 inches long. And then all we need to do is fold them in half. Okay, so you'll just find your corner space where you have that chain one gap. And it's better if you come in from the wrong side and go up. So I have my hook coming through that direction. And then just place the fringe over your hook. And you'll want to hold on tightly because it probably won't stay in your hook because it's too thick. If you find that you're having trouble with this, you can just grab a bigger crochet hook, like maybe an 8 or a 9 millimeter, and then that's going to help you to pull it through. So we're not using the crochet hook as a gauge, we're really just using it as a tool to get these little strands pulled through our work. So now you have something that looks like this, and you'll pull that loop down a little bit so you have some space to get your fingers in there, and then just pull all of those strands through and then pull tight and that's going to secure your fringe in place. So we're just going to make one of these for each one of these gap spaces here. So see where I've got my chain one gap space, so I'll put the next one here and then the next one here and the next one here and so on and then when I reach the white I'm going to add the white one in this chain space and then I'll slide another one in underneath where we did our surface crochet and then here and so that's all there is to it we're just going to add the fringe all the way on this bottom side of the scarf and then we'll also add them on the top side of the scarf as well this concludes our video tutorial on the Big Tartan Crochet Super Scarf from Yarnspirations.com I hope you've had as much fun working on your scarf as I have mine now please stay tuned for more free patterns and video tutorials at BeHookedCrochet.com and check out the huge selection of free patterns and the amazing yarn line from Yarnspirations at Yarnspirations.com. Until next time, we'll see you soon.